become a narcissist's worst nightmare. At some point, you knew there was something wrong with the narcissist. Maybe you didn't know they were a narcissist, but you knew something was not right with them. You recognized that they were acting in a way that was contrary to the customs of society. They were not sociable or wanting your company. They were unfriendly and uncommunicative. They went against social norms. They went against the generally accepted way of thinking, feeling and behaving that is approved of and expected because it is perceived as the right and proper thing to do. And you may have recognized that they had some childhood trauma. They had something that they were dealing with. But it's much deeper than that. It's destructive. It's negative and unhelpful. But the sick part about it is that it's deliberate and premeditated. It's done with full awareness of the likely consequences. And when you're dealing with someone who has a sick and twisted mind and a distorted sense of reality, the situation develops differently because they're doing a lot of these things intentionally. They're hurting you intentionally. They're sabotaging your progress intentionally. Even though your progress may be benefiting them because although they may love what you can do for them, they also hate your qualities and abilities that make it possible for you to do those things for them. They love what you do because it's good for them, but they also hate and envy those things about you at the same time, which is why they're prone to sudden changes of mood, which is why they're likely to change suddenly. They can become angry at any moment. Which is why they seem so deceitful and evasive. Which is why you cannot trust them. Which is why they cannot be relied on as honest or truthful. Because any little thing could set them off. Any little thing could cause them to change how they feel about you. They're very unpredictable. You never know what they're going to do next. They lie and promise something about your possible future to get you to accept them as they are, to get you to tolerate their behavior. They may even tell you that they have issues and they're working on themselves. They're trying to be better and they will convince you to wait for them until things change. So you may stick around because you want to believe there's something better about them. But once you discover that they're a narcissist, you should know that there's no going back. Nothing is going to change. And there's no point bringing this information to them because it's just going to trigger them. It's just going to make them angry because now everyone knows what a narcissist is and deep down they know that's what they are. So when you try to talk to them about it, it triggers their abandonment anxiety. They fear being abandoned. They worry that you're going to leave them and it causes them to react in a way that is excessive and extreme. They cannot deal with rejection. 
especially when you are their grade A primary source of supply and you leave before they have exhausted you of your strength and useful properties. Before they have used you of everything that you have to offer because you've discovered what they really are because you know they're never going to change and they know they're not going to change. They know they've been this way for a very long time. And when you know that the narcissist is only going to be harmful and damaging to you, and there's nothing you can do to change that, there's nothing you can do to help them. You accept it and you're done. That is when the narcissist begins to panic because it's like they have this natural ability to know about things before other people. They have this special ability to see and feel things. They know when you're on to them. They can hear it in your words. They see it in your body language and facial expressions. They know that something has changed. They know something's not right. They know you're seeing them differently. And that is when they will deliberately cause an argument to see how you really feel about them. To see if you still care. They try to make you angry because anger makes us more honest with our feelings. The truth comes out when we're angry. So they're trying to get you to expose your true identity and motives. But if they cannot find extra meaning in your words or actions, if they do not think that the situation or action has a meaning or importance, Their worst nightmare is you leaving without suffering any punishment or injury. It drives them insane. Because they didn't get the feeling that the emotional experience has been resolved. They didn't get a sense of resolution or conclusion. They didn't have an opportunity to get revenge. Because you figured them out and then you disappeared secretly and unexpectedly. You didn't say anything. You didn't give a slight or indirect indication or suggestion that you were getting tired of them or that you were about to get rid of them. You did it in a way that was not obvious to them. You did it in a cautious, unobtrusive and secretive way. You figured out what you were dealing with, but you didn't reveal any information to them. Because this is one of the biggest mistakes that people make. You try to make them understand what they are. You try to make them understand what they're doing wrong. You try to tell them what they need to do. You try to save them. You try to rescue them. But that is not the right way to deal with it. Because you can't save or rescue them. So when you figure this out, you need to avoid detection. You need to do it quietly and carefully so that no one notices. Because if you give them advance notice that you're onto them or that you're about to leave them, it will trigger them and make them very angry. They will turn against you and they will try to beat you to the punch. They will try to get you before you get them. They will try to destroy everything in your life before you're able to get away. 
because you've already given them advance notice of what you're about to do. You should never give the narcissist a warning. They don't play fair with you, so you can't play fair with them. If you're playing fair and they're not playing fair, you're giving them the advantage. You need to understand how much of a trigger it is for a narcissist to be exposed. It makes them very unpredictable. It makes them want to take revenge on you. And it puts you in position to have to defend yourself from danger and harm. But you have no protection against that attack. Because now you don't know what they're going to do next. You don't know how destructive or damaging it's going to be. So it's best for you to avoid mentioning or discussing anything about it. That is how you become the narcissist's worst nightmare. By being what they fear. Someone who got away without any punishment. Because then there's nothing they can do about it. They become very restless. But you're just the person that they regret having lost. Rather than the person that they're trying to punish. Because you never caused an injury. You never triggered their abandonment anxiety. So they never did anything to destroy you. But this is the narcissist's worst nightmare. This is one of the worst things that they hate. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.